Hello there, David here and welcome back to my channel for another video. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to upgrade your cache pool or cache drive on your Unraid server. Let's get started. In my case, my cache pool consists of two 120GB SSDs. I will be changing both of these from 120GB to 256GB. Please be warned in advance. This operation will take at least an hour and a half depending on how much data you currently have on your cache drives. The very first thing we're going to do is stop all Docker containers. Next, we're going to stop all virtual machines. Then we're going to go in and disable Docker. Next, we're going to disable VM Manager. We're going to click Compute Shares for the sizes of all shares to be determined. Next, every share that we currently have on the cache drives, we have to set Use Cache to Yes. This is directly from Unraid. If you set it to Yes, when Mover is invoked, files and subdirectories are transferred off the cache disk pool onto your data array. That's exactly what we want to do. What we are doing here is freeing up completely all the data from the cache drives and moving everything to the data array. Once the last share has been set to yes, go to the main tab Scroll down to the bottom and click Move Now. This will invoke Mover. All your files will start moving from the cache drives to the data array. I had about 50 gigabytes stored in my cache drive. This process for me took about 40 minutes. Once Mover is done moving all the files from the cache drives to the hard drives, we are now going to remove the old SSDs and install the new ones. Here are the specs of my system. It's a Ryzen 5 1600 based machine. Here are my two old SSDs. And the two new ones that I will be replacing them with. My motherboard also comes with an M.2 slot. I will be replacing the 120GB SSD I have with this 240GB one. This drive will not be part of the array, nor will it be part of the cache pool. It will be set up with a plugin called Unassigned Devices, which will allow this SSD to run independently. This will be used to store the VDisk for my virtual machines. After pulling out the old SSDs and installing the three new ones, I booted back into Unraid and I'm greeted with this screen. So notice all three SSDs are currently in the Unassigned Devices plugin. I'm going to go in and manually assign the two new SSDs to be used as the cache drives. And then I'm going to format the Unassigned Device, which is my M.2 SSD. Next, I'm going to click Start and this will start the array. Notice that it says that there is an unmountable disk present called cache. This is that new SSD that we added. We're going to check the little radio format button. Then we're going to click the format button. This will format the SSDs. Next step is to go through all the shares that we had previously set use cache to yes and set it back to what it was previously set to. 
After you're done with all the shares, go back to and click move now. This will again invoke mover and the files will start moving from the data array to the cache. And here we can see them moving. And here's a time lapse of my files moving. 45 gigabytes took about 50 minutes. After all the data is transferred back to the cache, enable Docker. And then finally go in and enable VM manager. Now when I check Docker, all my containers are here. And when I check my VMs, here they are. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like and comment any questions or concerns you may have. Thank you very much to all my subscribers again. I cannot thank you guys enough. Stay tuned for many more videos on Home Assistant and Unraid. And as always, have a wonderful day.